Welcome to P1, Unit 1.2, Expanding Brackets. So what we've got here is essentially just a GCSE topic, just getting you back into it, as there's going to be quite a lot of algebra in this course, and it's about expanding brackets. So if you can't remember, what you need to do is everything in one bracket, so every term in one bracket, needs to be multiplied by each term in the second bracket. And the easiest way to do that is to start off with the first term x multiplied by 2x, so that will be 2x squared. Take that first term and multiply it by the second term in the second bracket, so minus 3x. Now, what I do then is I take the second term in the first bracket and multiply it by that first term, so 5 times 2x is positive 10x. Take this first term and multiply by, sorry, second term multiplied by the second term. 5 multiplied by minus 3 minus 15. And then I just need to simplify, so I've got 2x squared minus 3x and plus 10 is going to be plus 7x and I'm left with my minus 15. Now it doesn't matter if there's more than two terms in the brackets, <coughs> still exactly the same process. So x times my 3x, x times my 2y and then x times my minus 8. So that would be 3x squared plus 2xy minus 8x. And equally on the bottom, I'm going to do 7 times 3x, 7 times 2y, and then the 7 times the minus 8. So we got 7 times 3x, 21x, 7 times 2y, 14y and 7 times negative 8 is negative 56 and then all I want to do is collect my like terms so simplify them where possible so we've got 3x squared it's the only x squared there we've got 2xy we've got the minus 8x and the plus 21x so we can simplify that one there. So that's going to be plus 13x. And then I've got my plus 14y and my minus 56. I probably normally would have actually put the 2xy here in the middle, 13x here. So then I've got my x powers descending into xy and then into y, but it doesn't really matter. Expanding squared brackets, so a lot of you will know this, you know, you can write this as two brackets and then you can multiply just as you did previously, leave me 4x squared minus 10x minus 10x plus 25 and then simplify into 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 but that is a little bit longer what you want to do is you want to get used to this so when you're doing this it's quite simple square the first one 4x squared and then it's twice the product so 2x times minus 5 is negative 10x times by 2 negative 20x and then square the last term minus 5 squared is plus 25 and that's what you've got to do you want to speed it up so you square the first term you've squared the last term and you are doubling the product okay so if we look at that with this final one here we got a cubed so I would in this case make it a squared times its 
itself. Um, there is other ways of doing this, but this is in this case is probably the quickest. So we've got four x squared. Square the first term. Double the product. So two threes are six. So this is minus six x y. Doubled is minus twelve x y. And square the last term. And then we want to multiply that by my 2x minus 3y. So it should be quite straightforward. Multiply everything by 2x. So we get 8x cubed minus 24x squared y plus 18xy squared. And then multiply by the 3y minus 12x squared y plus 36xy squared minus 27y cubed. I'll just sort that bit out. That's better. Then let's simplify. So we got 8x cubed minus 36x squared y plus 54xy squared minus 27y cubed. And then we are done. Here are eight questions for you to try yourself. Pause the video, video now. Here's the answers to questions 1, 2, 6. Uh, pause it now. So to find the shaded area, we need the area of the rectangle minus the area of the square. So we set that up first of all. Area rectangle is length times width. And then we need to take away sorry, the area of the square, which will look like that. So now it's just a matter of expanding everything and simplifying. I'm going to skip ahead here. Here's the answer to number 7. And number 8 is volume, so I just need to multiply all three brackets together. Again, I'll just skip to the end of this. And there's the final answer. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more of my upcoming videos. Thank you.